hi guys so before i talk about how to trade shark fins please make sure that you take a screenshot or you, you write the table you are seeing there somewhere on a clean piece of paper so i'll be focusing on shark fins for the daily time frame and then shark fins for the four hour time frame I don't talk much on weekly time frame going up or one hour time frame because I think uh, as for one hour it will be too fast for me personally it's too fast and if you are looking for weekly it's too yeah it, it drags too much so on this video I'm going to be talking about how you can actually use shark fins and time you see a shark fin that is a an rsi or price line on the tti is outside of the polinga pens and you quickly go to the time frame of end so if you are on d1 you expect you you see a shark fin or a price line out of the polinga pens you quickly go on h1 to see a what a reversal pattern remember that one way if you are in an uptrend and you're expecting a reversal you see a higher high higher low a higher high and then a break of structure of the previous lower low to give a new what to give a lower low and then return to order block etc and vice versa for a what for buy entry so let me quickly move on to the chart. Right, 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 right. So here is our chart. So I think we'll start with this one. This shark fin right here. And also this shark fin. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to mark these levels we've got here. It was outside of the bands. So you yeah, are simply looking for what for reversals. Here it was also outside of the what of the bend. Here it was also outside of the bend. So what you do, you go on one hour time frame. So we we'll start with this one. So every time when there is a shark fin on D1, you expect an MPO bounce on what on one hour time frame but it depends on how the mpo bounce presents and is it in line with what with order blocks so here uh, if we are coming from this zone we can see that price was moving in a what in a downtrend so we're seeing lower so so we have got our lower low, lower high, lower low, return to order block, break of structure to give our what? Our lower low, lower high. Then we have got our what? Our lower low. So here's lower low one, lower low two. We have got a break in structure and return to what? To the point of interest. So this would actually be the point of interest because it is between the lower low one and the lower low two so if you are not understanding what i'm saying can you please go and watch videos on so i'm going to do this i'm going to mark this area and so this is we are here because remember if it's a shark fin on d1 then you expect an order block on what on a one hour time frame and then you can time it using a five minutes or you can time it using 15 minutes personally i like 15 minutes because that's where i can actually confirm my trades so what i'm going to do let me go quickly to the right this is our 15 minutes time frame remember it was in the point of interest so what are we looking for on 15 minute time frame we are looking for a divergence pattern with a shark fin. So shark fin 
from outside the band and then cross again inside the band. So we've got number one prize came we are here. So this is the shark fin. So we expect a shark fin. So we've got a cross cross of the red line. Then we are now inside the band. We now cross again to the downside, creating a what? A divergence pattern. As you can see, this is a divergence pattern. While this price, this side was moving in that direction. So here, this is a confirmation. You can quickly pull the trigger. Don't be. Don't worry about anything. You enter once there is second close with a divergence pattern, of course, and you end would be right there. And then your stop loss will be the lowest point here. And then, so as you can see, there is a high high reward to risk. You can further uh, process this. So if it's like this, so remember, if you see a one leg outside bend, one leg inside bend on M15 time frame, it means on five minutes you have got a good MBO bounce. Then if you have the MBO bounce on 15 minutes time frame, you have got one leg in, one leg, one leg outside, then one leg in with a divergence pattern on M5. So those two, they always vice versa each other, making the TDI the most important indicator you should use to trade order blocks so as you can see this is what happened we've got a what an mpo bounce remember this was the place where we had a one leg outside one leg inside divergence pattern divergence pattern you can what you can enter and be in deep profit it's simple guys let me go on example number two then also we've got V751S. So remember if you are using daily, one hour is your time frame of analysis. So we mark our what? Our um, shark fin. So what you do, you go on H1, H1. So on H1, yes h1 so what you do you're looking for what that pattern and remember if it's a d1 shark fin you will see something like a what like an mpo bounce on one hour time frame so where is our mpo bounce we can see there was nothing there was nothing there was nothing then we had this so you don't just say there is an MPO bounce. You have to process it like, like the way I taught you how to what to analyze. So what do we have? We've got a lower what, lower low, lower high, lower low. Remember this one hour, lower high, lower low. Break in structure and return of what of this between lower low one and lower low two return to order block as you can see this is our last red candle if we draw lines this will be around what what did i do so what do you do next you go on what you go on M15 time frame. So this is our area of interest. As you can see on this one, there is still what? A W. This is a W. W. So what do you do to confirm the entry? You go on. You go on. On M5. On M5, you will see 
a clear MPL bounce. So where is our MPL? We've got this, this, this is our MPL bounce with a nice cross here. Boom! Went up. So that's how you analyze, guys. This is how you analyze for D1. Then, coming on to what? H4. So H4, remember, if you remember from our, that first picture I showed you, if you want to enter for our the four hour time frame shark fins correctly we can mark here we can also mark there so what are you looking for on m15 you are looking for that reversal pattern so what do we have higher high higher low higher high this is our break of structure so what are you expecting you expect a return to the order block did we get any yes we did so this is our what our structure can you see the spike have you seen that sometimes the market may appear to be moving you like ha you don't understand some of its move but it will just be returning to the what last green candle if we draw a line here you see that let's mark our green candles here is also another green candle, lowest point of our green candle. Last green candle. So which one did we test? We tested the last green, this one. This is what we tested. So what do you do to confirm the entry? You go on five minutes. Was there anything? Yes, there is a what? An M. We can see an M that is divergence. So what do you do to confirm the entry? You go on what? You go on M1. Let me first mark the point. I forgot the point. All right. Let's see if there was anything here. Unfortunately, here we didn't get a what an MPO bounce, but we would expect to get an MPO bounce if there is that pattern on the high time frame. So, like I said, if you have got an MPO on 15 minutes on M5, you have got that pattern where you've got shark fin with one leg outside, one leg in, a divergence pattern. Then you end if you have got that pattern which has got one leg outside the shark fin one leg inside on the m5 you get the what you get the the mpo bounce that's just how it is it's always opposing so i think i've exhausted every point so i will start trading and giving signals it's so easy guys let's see if I was right. You can see here there is one leg outside. Here we've got one leg outside, one leg inside. Divergence pattern. Let's see if there is anything on lower time frames. Lower time frames. Yay. The MPO didn't come out right. Here there is an MPO. So, guys remember if you see one leg in one leg one leg outside one leg in i always confuse the two the lower time frame will have an mbl bounce and then you can safely enter the trade because that's a confirmation so you you do your order blocks you look for the pattern the price action pattern the pattern which i talked about which looks something like this if for any Break of structure, break of structure, a return of the order block between the two highest points. So we are looking at this whole area. And you look forward for an end price will come down. So you can either look forward for an MPL on the time frame of entry. Or you can look for... You can look for... You can look for this pattern. 
So remember, if you see this pattern on lower time frame, you have an MPO. If you see an MPO on lower time frame, you have this pattern. It's just how it is, guys. So please watch the video to the end. Congratulations if you successfully watched the whole video. Thank you guys for watching. Cheers. Enjoy. Enjoy your profits.